all of us are creative, and we all have the ability to imagine endless interesting ideas. But when it comes to bringing those ideas to life, it's easy to get stuck or lose confidence. Adobe believes generative AI can boost anyone's creative confidence by removing the barriers between your imagination and the blank page. I'm a content creator and learning designer at Adobe. In this lesson, I'll walk you through how to get going using Adobe Firefly and show you some of the best practices I've learned for creating with Gen AI. After all, creativity and innovation are a process, and the smoother the process or workflows, the more you can design and create. Two important things to know about Firefly. The first is that you can enter prompts in over 100 languages, not just English. And the second is that Firefly is both a standalone web product and an embedded tool inside Adobe apps. It powers products like Adobe Express, Photoshop, Illustrator, and more. Because of this, Firefly offers generative AI tools made specifically for a broad range of creative needs, use cases, and workflows. In Adobe Photoshop, which is used for image editing, graphic design, and making digital art, you can use generative fill to add matching objects to existing images, extend the canvas of an image, or remove unwanted objects by simply typing in your text prompt. In Adobe Illustrator, which is a graphic design tool that lets you design logos, icons, and other graphics, you can use generative recolor to play around with different color variations in the design. For example, you can use words to explore any color palette or theme that you can imagine and recolor your creations instantly until you find a combination you like. And in Adobe Express, you can use text to image and text effects to create stunning fonts and bring to life any kind of image, illustration, or photo that you can imagine. So now let's talk about how to actually get started with Firefly's text to image mode in Adobe Express. There are a few ways to get started. From the home screen, you can scroll down to the text to image section that allows you to insert your prompt directly into the text box while also getting to check out some inspo from what others have done. Option two is going to the top and selecting the purple plus button, then going to quick actions and selecting text to image from there. Now start by writing a prompt in a normal phrase, but don't worry about using full grammatically correct sentences. Instead of, I want you to draw an iguana or please draw me an iguana, you can just describe what you want to see, such as iguana with a great fashion sense. But I haven't shared a lot with Firefly to help describe the exact style or vibe I might have in mind. So this is where it gets really fun. Add words or presets to specify the content type, style, lighting, and composition of a text to image prompt, such as iguana with a great fashion sense in a rainbow Victorian outfit, or in a steampunk style outfit. Three quick things that you can do to improve your image. Edit your text, curate the content type, and refine the style. I'm going to edit my text to add some more detail to my prompt, which will adjust what Firefly generates. Keep in mind, the prompt bar is not a chat conversation. So in order to add more details to your image, you should still include your original request in the prompt. For example, I've put in car on Mars, which gave me some interesting initial results, but made me realize I want to play around with timeliness a little. So I'm going to try futuristic car on Mars. Now I'm thinking about how this car is going to get around and I'm realizing a road would probably help. So I'm going to add on a road to my original prompt. You know, now that I think about it, if there are cars on Mars, there's probably tech for a flying car too, right? So I'm going to jazz up the color and make it fly with the prompt, blue futuristic car hovering above a road on Mars. Now I'll play around with the content types with options for photo, graphic, or art, which are going to make it look photorealistic or illustrated or like a painting. You can also just select none and let Firefly guess which images will best represent your prompt. 
One of the things I love about Firefly functionality is I know what an image or artistic style looks like, but I don't always know the name of it. The Styles menu allows you to select from different art movements or styles to tap into a cubist or cyberpunk style. Having these popular image styles on hand lets me play around with lots of different looks, get inspired, and react to different styles I might not have considered otherwise. You can choose from materials for the texture of the image like yarn, metal, or my personal favorite, the layer paper effect. All of these styles can also be combined to further adjust the results. The combination of different adjustments is what always makes it feel like there are limitless ways to create in Firefly. Okay, now I want to add some text. I could just choose a font and color, but I'm having so much fun with Gen AI, I'm going to use the Firefly text effects feature in Express. Now I'm thinking this could be a fun ad for made up cars on Mars. So I'm going to put the text Mars Motors as my imagined company. With text effects, you put in the text prompt what kind of image or effect you want the text to look like. So since it's Mars, maybe I'll try red car tires. But since the cars might fly and may not need tires at all, how about I do red gears and car parts instead? Remember, you can use either firefly.adobe.com or Express to create text effects. Let me show you another example in Express of a party invitation for a friend's golden birthday, and I want to take it to the next level using text effects. So I have this template I edited in Express, but I want to have some fun with the 25. First, I'm going to select the text that has the 25 on it. This will open the text panel. If you scroll down, you'll see text effects. This is where I want to click. Now I'm going to describe the effect I want to see on the letters. I'm going to put the number 25 in the text effect prompt of gold balloon. I'm going to then adjust the size and add a few more graphics. And voila, this invitation is done. So now it's your turn. Go ahead and open either Firefly or Express. There's no better way to understand the possibility of text effects than to give it a test drive.